This is Dr. Lawrence Brock. Welcome to Spirituality 101. I want to welcome AXJ members, specifically those interested in human spirituality, and everyone who might be a skeptic or have other opinions. The first question I'm going to answer is, can you prove that there is a soul, a spirit, or even God? My doctorate is in something called spiritual science. A big part of the schooling was to use the scientific method to verify spiritual phenomena. A lot of it was what's called tracking, where I had sheets of paper where I would keep track of pretty much everything I did every day, from how much I slept, to exercise, how much water, how much I meditated, and any spiritual experiences that I had. Then the instructions in the class were to come up with a, a thesis and then do research, try to prove it, or disprove it. When we talk about proving spirit or soul or God, there's not really the same proof as proving there's a wall or proving there it's raining or something that is very physical. It is kind of like, can we prove that there are emotions? And you feel the emotions, they make you act a certain way, but it's kind of elusive. So we're talking about using the scientific method, which is when enough people have experiences of something, we start to think of it as proof. And if we take the time to write all this out and even write a paper, it becomes proof. I like to look at it does it really matter if we can prove there's a soul or spirit or God? I'm looking more for the results of people's experience. Is there something that makes someone happy? Is it something that makes someone healthy? I have had my spiritual counseling practice for close to 40 years, and I've experienced many times people getting healthier and happier. I know my beliefs and my experience with spirit, soul, and God makes me happy. When I breathe inside and use my intention to connect to my soul, I feel energy in my body. It feels tingly and warm, and I just feel happier. I meditate every day. Part of it is quieting my mind, but part of it is using my intention to connect to the spirit, to connect to my soul, and to connect to God. Is there a way that I can know that that is 100% what it is? I cannot. It is not something you can prove in that way, but my experience is it's a good thing, and I feel happy, I feel healthy. I do notice aches and pains disappear in my body, I also notice when I'm doing that, somewhere in my mind, some of my problems get resolved and I figure out answers. For me, that is proof of enough. People used to ask me when I work with people and they feel happier and healthier, they would say, how do you know it's not all in their head? And I would answer, does it matter as long as they're feeling happier or healthier? I've, in my search, I have studied many different religions. Usually in a religion, they talk about God or spirit or soul in a specific way. Obviously, in Christianity, they talk about Jesus. In Buddhism, they talk about Buddha. In Islam, they talk about Muhammad. And these are all fine, and it seems to me the essence of these religions are similar. Again, the loving, the caring, being of service to other people, taking care of your family, 
you know, being a good parent, being a good teacher, whatever it is that you do, that magical thing that I'm talking about comes present. So whether you believe there is a God or not, there is this essence inside of us that is good, that kind of clicks when we're doing something that we're good at or something we believe in. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down. I think this is a great discussion to have. One of the kind of cool things about spiritual experiences is someone can have an experience, and like I have, and I know that it's true, and someone else could think it's not true at all. It's kind of what makes it interesting discussing this with other people. Thank you for listening to me, and I'll look forward to hearing your opinions.